Union County is taking a small ranch home that they currently own and turning it into a transitional house for those who are done with their jail sentence but having a hard time finding housing. And based on a conversation with Commissioner Roop about the viability of finding some use for it other than just storage, was with it was that we have a, a percentage, a small percentage, but a percentage of our population that come through who meet conditions of their sentence and albeit for no place to go, while a Section 8 application is processed or a Justice Bridge application is processed, they're sitting in jail. And I, I'm not sure what the per diem is. I imagine I think it's between sixty and seventy-five dollars a day, depending on which deal we use. You're talking over ten thousand dollars spent to house somebody out that could have been used otherwise. Where had we been able to get her in a place, she could have started programming sooner and got to work and done a variety of other things. This is a two-bedroom ranch home. Um, we're looking to try and establish something where folks have met their conditions of sentence. Um, it's what's keeping them in jail is they don't have a place to go, but they have an application pending or we're investigating another alternative living arrangement and they're past their minimum. So we can get them out, get them to work, get them into programming for a short-term stay. It's not gonna be long-term. It's a hand up, a start. It's an opportunity while other services are in place to build some momentum moving forward where they immediately transition into their own place. As Scott uh, uh, took over as our uh, chief uh, 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 probation officer, uh, he started talking about Justice Bridge and, and, and some of the shortcomings in, as he said, particularly the, the, the female uh, uh, clients uh, getting those uh, uh, into uh, alternative housing or, or have a home plan for them. They can't get out of jail without a home plan. So, you know, this can be a first home plan that can transition into other home plans later on. We're delighted as commissioners to be able to help uh, those in need be able to transition back into society, particularly since we're going to be focusing on, on providing space for women. Uh, I think that that's something that's very needed. Uh, a lot of people, whether they're in the justice system or not in the justice system, have a need to be able to have affordable, safe housing. We're pleased to be able to offer this to at least a couple of people and we'll continue to focus on making sure that the supply of affordable housing continues to be here in our community.